Hello all. In this video, we are going to discuss about Open HRMS Entry Checklist module. So as we know that Open HRMS is an open source human resource management software which will provide you a complete HR solutions for your company. And moreover, with Open HRMS, we have a well sufficient as well as the efficient equipments to deal all your process of HR in your organization. And also it is well used for both the small as well as the large scale enterprises. So in this video, we will discuss about the Open HRMS entry checklist module. So basically in default Odo, we are not having this provisions of providing this checklist that is for the onboarding as well as the offboarding process. But with Open HRMS, we brings up a module called as a entry checklist module, which helps in the functionality for the onboarding as well as the offboarding process. So once you install the module called the entry checklist module, you will able to access the functionalities of those modules in the employee module. So first of all, let's go to our employee module. So in employee module, here in this options, here you will see the options under configurations where you can see the checklist. So as we know that a well-functioning human resource department will always lay down a number of post procedures before an employee during joining as well as the resigning time. So basically for dealing with that, we are using this checklist option. So from here, you can basically create your checklist. So suppose here, if I mention here, that is, so by default or for just testing purpose, if I'm providing, some kind of entry certificate. So here I have the option to mention the checklist type that is whether it is an entry process or exist process. So likewise, you can create a number of checklists over here and you can just save this. So similarly, you can also create the checklist for exist process also. And you can just simply click here and create the checklist within a few click itself so here you can mention the access process so likewise you can create your checklist and simply save this by mentioning the checklist type and here yeah you have this options to create the checklist now let's see in case of employees where we can see this checklist so basically this checklist we can say it can be a kind of submission or a return of certificates or attending of any conference, etc. So basically a person has to undergo all these checklist item before being admitted or, or resigned. So for that purpose, we are having this checklist. So obviously when you open this employee module, you will have, sorry, the employee form, you will have here, you can see, you will also, it will also provide you a percentage percent pipe of the checklist pie of the checklist that is the entry process as well as the access process and here when you come down you will have a separate tab called as checklist so under this you will have the checklist listed out that you have created so these are the checklists that you have created so suppose we can say that this module simplifies the process or by providing you a checklist to mark the proceedings and it will also display the person pie of the checklist item that is completed so suppose if i click on this suppose if for this particular person if i mention that if we have submitted this entry certificate here you can see the corresponding changes occur here so here you can see a person pie of the checklist item that is completed so here you will have this option so you can see when you do that corresponding changes can see over here so we can say that with this module called as the Open HRMS Entry Checklist, it helps in managing the both the entry as well as the exit process. We can say both entry as well as the exit process can be 
change and also with this checklist is provides a provision for checklist in onboarding as well as offboarding process so these are the feature of open hrms called as the entry checklist module which helps to provide or lays down a certain number of procedures before an employee uh, assigned as a joining or as well as the resigning time we can say certain procedures which is put forward to an employee before that is at the joining time as well as the resigning time so this is the key feature of this module so thank you for watching this video if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odoo implementation or customization in your business just drop your request to odoo@cybrosis.com